problem we have the value V of a car depreciates over T years according to the formula above. So V is the value of the car, T is the amount of years that it depreciates, and then where P is the original price, so P represents the original price of the car, and R is the annual rate of depreciation. Then it says, if a car depreciates to a value equal to half its original price after five years, then which of the following is closest to the car's annual rate of depreciation? So the question is asking for the car's annual rate of depreciation. So we're looking for R. And when it says that the car depreciates to a value equal to half of its original price, that means whatever P is equal to, V is equal to half of that. So for example, if P was equal to 1,000, then V would be equal to 500. So we can plug in any numbers that we want there as long as V is exactly a half of P. So we can fill in the rest of the formula. We plugged in 500 for V, 1000 for P, then we have 1 minus R, and R is what we're looking for, so we'll leave it as R. And it's after a period of five years, so T will be equal to five. Now that we have our, all of our uh, variables plugged in, we want to solve for r. So in order to solve for r, um, well, there's a couple of options, actually. Since we're given answer choices, we could actually plug in these values for r and see which one um, makes the equation true. But let's go through an algebraic way to solve the, um, the equation. If we divide both sides by a thousand, then we'll cancel out this thousand. And 500 divided by a thousand is equal to 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 is equal to, since the a thousand's canceled out, we're left with one minus r to the power of five. From here, we need to get rid of this power of five on the outside of r of the R um, expression. So what we can do to get rid of that is to take the fifth root of both sides. And if we take the fifth root of 0 0.5, I'll use my calculator to do that. My calculator says if I do 0 0.5 to the Y power of five, I get it to be approximately equal to 0 0.87 is equal to 1 minus r because the fifth root here cancels out the power of 5. The last thing that we would need to do is finish solving for r. Um, so we can add r to both sides to cancel it out and we get r plus 0 0.87 is equal to 1 and then to finish getting r by itself we add, sorry, subtract 0 0.7 on both sides. 0 0.87 to cancel that out and that gives us r is equal to approximately 0 or if we round it to 0 0.7 it's exactly 0 0.13 so our answer would be a I hope this video was helpful for you if it was please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel for more homework help questions.